Good evening. Thank you for joining. Give me one moment. Can you hear me? Me escuchan. Good evening, yes, teacher. Ah, bye. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Es que me dice aquí que no se escucha bien. Dice, I don't know what, why it says that. Okay, so today we're going to continue with yesterday's topic, right, which was related to questions, okay? And we were talking, déjeme ver, ¿por qué no me acepta la cámara otra vez? A ver. Let's see. Mm, give me a second, guys. No sé por qué no toma la cama. Ayer automáticamente me la estaba, me la estaba apagando. Give me one moment. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Ahí sí. Thank you very much for joining, guys. And I was saying, right, that um, we're going to continue today with the topic. And also we're going to be working with questions, ¿verdad? Con preguntas, okay? Now let's go ahead and check. Ah, vamos a dejar también cargando aquí la plataforma. So here is where we stopped yesterday. And we were saying that it is very important, extremely important, right, to learn how to use the different elements for the questions, right? So in this case, we said that we have different, you know, sections for uh, yes, no questions and WH questions, right? <clears throat> we said that if we're going to ask a yes, no question, so that's going to be like this. We're going to start directly with the auxiliary. So the auxiliary that we have for present simple are two, do and does, right? So do you play the guitar? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do your friends live near here? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. Does Chris work on Sunday? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Does it rain a lot here? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. So whenever we ask just no questions, we begin directly with the auxiliary. Right? And then we have WH questions. So we were saying that when we use WH questions, we're going to begin with a WH word or a WH phrase. What's the difference, Marce? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre la WH word y la WH phrase? Que la WH word es una sola, where, what, etc. Y la frase pues incluye más de una palabra. How often, how much, what time, etc. Dígame, Reina. Dis disculpe, teacher, ya pasó lista. No, es que no, 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 ah, okay, no. Gracias. bueno, ya sabe, no se preocupe, reina, estamos bien ahí, ya, ya casi pasó lista, mientras cargan aquí las tools, yo empiezo la clase para aprovechar, pero ya cargó, así que vamos a pasar lista en un momentito, and we were saying yesterday that if we are you know, asking, si vamos a preguntar por el trabajo que hace alguien, ¿verdad? What do you do? Esa es la pregunta. Es como preguntar, what is your job? What do you do? What's your job? Right? Very good. So let's go ahead and pass the attendance. Voy a pasar lista, chicos. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of June. Okay? So Aleida Arely García Martínez. Present, Thank you. Andrea Marcela Olmedo Fuentes. No está Andrea Marcela. Eh, Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes. Ashley Maribel Manzano Reyes. Byron Leonel Lozano Alvarenga. Eh, Christopher David Reyes Mármol. Christopher David. 
Reyes Mármol, David Alejandro Avelar Hernández. Present teacher. Gracias. Gracias, gracias. Eh, Elba Marisela Pérez de Mengíbar. Present teacher. Gracias. Elba Isabel Zúñiga de Orellana. Present teacher. Sander Mena Argueta. Ah, no, Ever, perdón. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Eh, Francisco Armando García Florentino. Francisco Armando García Florentino. Eh, no, no está. Giovanni David López Molina. Present, teacher. Gracias. Eh, Henry Alexander Hidalgo Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Gracias. Isaac Abdonay Tobar. Isaac Abdonay Tobar. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodríguez Sánchez. Present teacher. Gracias. Jo no, Joao Mauricio Villalta Sorto. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Juana Inés Velázquez Carranza. Present teacher. Gracias. Catherine Vanessa Blanco Umaña. Present teacher. Gracias. Linda Hazel Fermán Díaz. Present teacher. Gracias. Marcia Beatriz Reyes de Manzano. Present teacher. Gracias. María Beatriz Coto de González. Present teacher. Good evening. Gracias. Good evening, María Beatriz. María del Carmen Guzmán Arevalo. Present teacher. Gracias, María del Carmen. Melanie Fabiola Cuella Rodríguez. Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Gracias. Reina Noemí Vela López. Present teacher. Gracias. Roberto Carlos Sardón Ramírez. I'm here, teacher. Gracias. Rosibel Esmeralda Laine Salas. Present teacher. Gracias. Silvia Roxana Quintanilla Umaña. Present teacher. Gracias. Stephanie Jamilet Faraona Hernández. Present. Gracias. Tatiana Emilia Hernández Escobar. Present teacher. Gracias. Verónica Tatiana Chávez Cornejo. Present teacher. Gracias, muy amable. Thank you very much. Okay, give me one moment. Thank you. Let me see. It's complete. Ahí está. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue here. So yesterday we were working with, you know, some of the questions, right? And these ones are related to um, a topic that we that we did before, right? So we were working with questions. Estas, si no me equivoco, las hicimos en la unidad pasada, ¿se acuerdan? Do you remember that we did this uh, in the previous unit? Yes, teacher. Very good, okay. So we're going to move, ¿verdad? Estas son, digamos, las mismas que habíamos, pues, practicado, ¿verdad? Y por eso es que no les costó mucho ya entrar a la parte de las preguntas porque ya las habían practicado acá. Okay, so we're going to have a quick practice today related to, uh, related to that part, okay? Y si es posible, vamos a iniciar. Eh, uno de los temas también que es de adjectives, okay? Now, uh, it says write questions with do, right? Este también lo hicieron conmigo, ¿verdad? Solamente lo voy a hacer como demostrativo porque ya lo armaron conmigo también en la unidad anterior. Entonces, uh, you are going to write questions, ¿verdad? Y prácticamente iban a usar los elementos que ustedes tienen en pantalla. So, as you can see, most of them, Casi todas las preguntas serán WH questions. Entonces, ¿por qué sabe, teacher, que casi todas son WH questions? Porque miren las respuestas. I work in a bookstore. 
it's okay, at night, sometimes, usually by bus, he's a teacher, science, y el último, yes, he loves it, ¿verdad? So, in this case, what do you do? Or what is your job? I work in a bookstore. I work in a school, right? I work in a hospital. Do you like it? So, do you like your job? ¿Verdad? Esta es una yes, no question. Yo puedo responder con un yes, I do, or no, I don't, o it's okay. What time do you start in the morning? At night. Este es un ejemplo de una WH phrase porque tiene más de una palabra antes del auxiliar. No es como what do you do, que es una WH word. Luego, do you work on Saturdays? Yes, I do. No, I don't. O sometimes. ¿Ok? Para las preguntas de sí o no, usted puede elegir si, la, si va a responder con un sí o un no o si va a dar una palabra, como en este caso, ¿verdad? Que está relacionada siempre a frecuencia. Do you work on Saturdays? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Or sometimes. ¿Ok? How do you go to work? Ah, usually by bus. Or I take the bus. Or I use public transportation. Or I go by car. I use my car. I drive my car. And your husband, right? What does he do? ¿A qué se dedica? ¿O cuál es su trabajo? ¿Verdad? Ah, he's a teacher. Okay. And what does he teach? ¿Qué enseña? Science. And does he enjoy his job? Yes, he loves it. Or yes, he does. ¿Verdad? Does he enjoy his job? Entonces, la parte de las preguntas va a ser, chicos, eh, bien eh, fácil si tratamos de recordar siempre los elementos que necesitamos. Now, at this point, we get to knowledge check uh, 3.7, right? Knowledge check 3.7, okay, which is um, in your platform, okay? I don't know if any of you had a problem or an inconvenient with 3.7. Alguien que tenga dudas o preguntas del 3.7? No? Well, si no es, si es así, pues let's go ahead and do it, ¿verdad? And if you get to the part, you will be able to see how it works, okay? So in the knowledge check section, it says complete these conversations. Select the answers that contains the two words needed to complete each question. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this page, this website here. And I'm going to ask, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse, right? So what about letter A? What do you think are the two words that we need? One, two, or three? Three. Okay, let's go ahead and check to see if that's what we need. Okay, how does he like it? Right, it's difficult, but she loves it. I mean, how does she like it? I'm sorry. Vamos a ver. Conversation two. What do you think are the two words that we need here? We have where it work, what work, and how work. One. Where does... Okay. okay. Where work. Work. Where does your brother work? Yeah. At the airport. He's a pilot, right? Very good. What about the next one? We have where like, we have how like, and what like. How like. How, how and like. like. Okay, and like. how does like. he like it? <laughs> uh, he doesn't really like it, right? Conversation three. How like. How, like, uh -huh. how do you parent like? How do, do you parent likes their jobs? Like, like their jobs. Like Very them. good. Uh, um, they're, they're... I don't remember. Where... What do they work? They work. Can I say what? What? Where? Where, right? Where? I don't where? remember. Where do they where work? Do they... Okay. Work. In an office yes, yes, in yes. the city. Mm -hmm. Conversation number four. 
What do what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a student, right? Number no letter B. I'm sorry. Number two. I see. Oh, how like? How like? Like. How do you I like your classes, like. right? They're good. They're good. I love them a lot. Okay, and then we're going to check in here. Ay, chipas, no lo, he, no lo he seleccionado. Vamos a ver. Y pues todas nuestras preguntas están correctas, right? So, these are WH questions, ¿verdad? Como son WH questions, solo teníamos que identificar qué era lo que necesitamos para poder completar la pregunta, ¿ok? And this is uh, Knowledge Check 3.7, ¿ok? Very good. ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos, eh, so far? Questions so far? Preguntas? No, no yet. Todavía no. Vaya, right, let's go ahead and work in the following exercise, okay? It says complete these conversations, then practice with a partner, okay? Es la misma, el mismo ejercicio. En la vez anterior fallamos un poquito, pero hoy que ya sabemos cómo usar la pregunta, how do you like it, how does she like it, etc., let's go ahead and answer. Vaya, right, si pueden. Pueden eh, abrir sus micrófonos y lo hacemos todos juntos, ¿verdad? So, what does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Es la misma conversación que acabamos de trabajar, ¿verdad? Question. How does she How like does it? How does she like it? How does she like it? Right? Oh, it's difficult, but she loves it. Two. Where, Where does your brother Where does work? Your brother? Where does your brother where does your brother work? At the airport. He's a pilot. Oh. How, like how does he like how it? Does he like how does he Muy bien. Oh, how does he like it? Oh, he how doesn't does he really like it, right? Number three. <laughs> how do your parents? How do your parents like their jobs? Like their jobs. Exactly. How do your parents like their jobs? Okay. I don't remember where. I don't remember where. I don't remember. Where do they work? Exactly. Where do they work? Very good. In an office in the city. Okay. Four. What, what, do what do you do? What do you do? Right? What do you do? I'm a student. Do do? I see. I see. How, how, how do you like? How, how do, do you, you like, like your, your class, classes? Classes. Muy bien. How do you like your your classes? Ah, oh, they're good. I like them a lot. Very good. Excellent, guys. Let's go ahead and continue here. Estos ejercicios, si yo mal no recuerdo, no lo hicieron. No los hicieron conmigo, ¿verdad? Lo guardé para esta unidad. Así que vamos a trabajar eh, ahorita con siempre ejercicios relacionados con el tema que lo guardé de la unidad anterior para poder practicarlos, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, complete the questions in these conversations. This one is an example. El primero es un ejemplo, ¿ok? So here you have the example. It says, where does your brother work? My brother, he works in a department store. What does he do? He works in the shoe department. He's a salesperson. Okay, now continue with the next one. Le voy a dar un, un minutito, okay? Think about your answer.
Ready? What is the answer? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta a la primera parte? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where Kelly and Pam do? No, la primera es what. What, what, what do you do? What do Kelly and Pam do? Ok, muy bien. Vaya, la primera sí, va what? bien, ¿verdad? What do Kelly and Pam do? O también puede preguntar, what do they do? ¿Qué hacen ellas, verdad? What do Kelly and Pam do? Or what do they do? Right? Kelly and Pam are nurses and they work together too. La segunda, por ahí la escuché, me dijeron, where do they work? ¿A dónde trabajan, verdad? Where do they work? Well, at Springfield Hospital, right? At Springfield Hospital. Very good. Let's go ahead and move on. Ahora vamos a pasar al siguiente. Tienen un par de minutitos para resolverlos. Yo les pregunto luego si están listos. Dígame, Jacqueline. Um, what is the meaning of Springfield? Uh, In the previous one. The land, yeah. Es un apellido, creo yo. Ah, ok. Ajá, Springfield. O oh, es una ciudad, ajá. Solo me recuerda a los uh -huh. Simpsons. <laughs> Springfield, <laughs> ajá. Okay, are you ready? Very good. So yes, what would be... Yes, teacher. Excellent. What would be the, the first question? Where... Does your daughter work? Does your daughter work? Very good. You can ask, where does your daughter work? Or where does she work? My daughter works in an office. Muy bien. Question number two. What does she do? What does she do, right? Very good. So what does she do? She's an accountant, right? Number four. What do you enjoy do? Very good. What do you enjoy do, right? Ah, oh, John and I, we fix computers, right? And what is the next question that she asked or the person asked? How do you like it? How do you like it? Oh, we like it a lot, right? We like it a lot. Very good. Pregunta, chicos. Questions so far? No questions? 
Very good. Let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. Remember that we're putting into practice what we have learned. Estamos poniendo en práctica lo que aprendimos sobre las preguntas, okay? So I'm going to assign this one and I'm going to give you five minutes for you to complete it. Well, four minutes. Creo que está, no está muy largo, pero tampoco está corto. Así que vamos a darles four minutes. So your four minutes begin right now. Miss, I have a question. Yes. Um, what does what is the meaning of a server? A server, uh, that would be kind of a waiter, I guess, como un mesero o una mesera, right? Uh -huh. But probably yeah. could be at a diner, como en un este, como un diner que sería una cafetería de comida a la vista, digámoslo así, verdad? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Let's go ahead and see if you're ready. Let's begin with number one. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. do. Do, right? Oh, what? Do you do? What do you do? Very good. I, 
I want. Um, I am. Muy bien. I am a server. Exactly, because when we are talking about professions, we're talking about jobs. We use the verb be. I am a server, okay. right? Now, next one. Where? Do you, do you work? work? Where do you work? Do you exactly. Work? I work. 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 At, at Paul's Coffee how? Shop. Paul's oh, Coffee so. Shop. Very good. Next. How? Do you like your job? You like uh huh. How do you like your job? I really like it. Like it's, it. It's a great job. It's a great job. What time do you do you start work? work? Do, do you start, start work? work? Uh huh. I start work. Start work. Start work. At say eight a.m. And, and, and I and work at finish. finish. Okay, finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I finish PM. at 3 p.m. Very good. Excellent, guys. Good job. Okay. Finish. Questions? Preguntas? Questions yeah. about the exercise? Okay. Very good. Si ustedes se fijan acá, estamos haciendo su uso de do because we're talking about you, right? About the subject pronoun you. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Okay. This one is a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to give you again four minutes for you to complete it. Four minutes, okay? Your four minutes begin right now.
Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and check the answer. In number one, okay. So it says my brother. My brother what? Has. Has. Muy has. bien, chicos. My brother has a new job. We said that have is an irregular verb. Es un verbo irregular. That's why we need to be very careful, right, to pay attention if we're using the third person singular or if we're using, you know, other uh, type of, of subject pronouns, okay? And then it says, really? Where? Does Where he does work? work? Where does he work? Muy bien. Where does he work? He works. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. At the new clothing store downtown, right? B. What does he do there? Does he do? Mm -hmm. What does he do there? He is a security guard. He's a security guard, right? What about letter B? How? Does he like his job? Like his job. Muy bien. Excellent. How does he like his job? Right? Oh, I guess he, he likes, likes. Like it. He likes. Lights he likes. it or loves it. Cualquiera de los dos, ¿verdad? Remember that it's third, third person singular, right? So we need to add the letter S. What time does he start work? Start. Does he start work? Very good. He starts, starts right? Work at 10 a.m. And he finishes at 6 p.m. Finishes at 6 p.m. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. Now, questions, preguntas, chicos, relacionadas con eso, porque vamos a iniciar un tema. Questions about questions? <laughs> questions about questions uh, in present simple? No? Okay, very good. Let's move on then. Vamos a movernos a otro tema. So we're going to start working with this. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective, que es, es este, algo que... Lo encontramos, ¿verdad? Desde un principio, pero no lo habíamos como identificado tal cual. And adjective plus noun. Remember, we have two different formulas. B plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Okay? So, um, here we have the first conversation, right? And this conversation is in 3.9. Okay? I'm going to share the conversation with you. And then we can have a couple of volunteers to read it. Okay? Um, let me see. I'm going to play it right now. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same Sorry, I want to stop here because I want to first uh, focus or focus on the conversation, okay? So can I have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation, please? Volunteers to read the conversation. Thank you, Veronica and Stephanie. Veronica, please uh, represent or role play with Richard and then... Uh, La otra persona con Stephanie. <laughs> okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm fire. 
now you know that's exciting yes but it's a very stressful stressful job and sometimes i'm dangerous thank you very much girls excellent okay so let's go ahead and analyze the conversation to identify, you know, the different examples that contain part of this topic. Okay, so it is, hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Okay, so here we have two different words, right? A new job. So we have here um, this, then it says, yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. So students, okay, let's, let me go back here to the green color. Okay, the students, okay. Then we have another element that we include, which is R, students R, and then I go back to red. Okay, terrific. Okay, how are things with you? Oh, no bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting, right? So again, let's go ahead and take a look in here. We have the adjective, which is exciting, right? We have here the verb be. And we have also the subject. In este caso, un dat. Eso, verdad? Yes, but it's a very stressful job, right? Here we have a combination of the two of them, okay? We have very stressful job, very stressful. Está un intensificador de ese, de ese eh, adjetivo, ¿verdad? Y luego pues tenemos job, que es un noun, es un nombre o un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Y luego pues como ustedes pueden ver, we have also the verb be. Aquí está el verbo to be. Okay, and um, it está actuando pues como parte de lo que tiene la oración en su lugar, ¿verdad? Entonces, new job, students are terrific, is exciting, and is a very stressful job, okay? So, as you can see, we have different elements. Hay diferentes elementos que tenemos que considerar para este tema. Primero, chicos, pregunta, what is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo, chicos? What is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo? Uh -huh. Eh, Jacqueline, dígame. Está en mute, ahí está. I think that it is uh, como algo descriptivo sobre el objeto. Ok, muy bien. Thank you so much. Por ahí vamos. Verónica me iba a decir algo, perdón. Uh, no, it's a sound at the... Sí. Ok, lo mismo, o algo, una idea diferente. No, this uh, describes uh, uh, the subject. Ok, muy bien, describes the subject. Very good. Bueno, la verdad es que sí, estamos pues con la idea, ¿verdad? En este caso, pues... Eh, an adjective. Un adjetivo es una palabra que puede describir a un nombre o sustantivo. Recordemos que nombre o sustantivo, pues podemos tener ahí a uh, people, animal, eh, ideas, things, o en este caso, pues co cosas concretas o uh, abstractas, tangibles o intangibles. O sea, todo incluido ahí eh, cuando yo digo nombre o sustantivo, ¿verdad? Y pues eh, en esta parte... ¿Verdad? Es donde vamos como comprendiendo mejor esas funciones y nos ayudan a entender mejor las oraciones. Entonces, eso es un adjective. Hay algo, chicos, que se llama en inglés eh, parts of speech. Marce, ¿qué son las parts of speech? ¿Verdad? Las parts of speech son esos elementos gramaticales que yo necesito, ¿verdad? Para poder este, tener una mejor idea 
de cómo funciona pues la gramática en inglés, ¿verdad? Cuáles son esas, esas diferentes, este, sus diferentes elementos, ¿verdad? Si usted se fija, ahí está en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? No vamos a anotar aquí. Vaya, ese elemento, ese, perdón, ese sitio web o, o ese, esa hojita que les compartí, sí es para un nivel más avanzado. Pero mi objetivo no es que entiendan eso, sino más bien que se familiaricen con las que son las parts of speech. Entonces, si usted se fija en lo que yo les compartí a través de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Tienen ahí eh, la primera que es un noun, un nombre sustantivo. ¿Qué es un noun? Un noun is name of a person, place, thing or idea. Nombre de una persona, lugar, cosa o idea. Eso es un noun, un nombre o sustantivo. ¿Qué es un adjective? Adjective describes, modifies, or gives more information about a noun or a pronoun, que es lo que nos acaban de decir sus compañeros, algo similar, ¿verdad? Describe, modifica, o da más información acerca del nombre o el pronombre. For example, we have cold, happy, young, fun, to, the little girl has a pink hat. Y examples de nouns son Daniel, London, table, hoop, right? Mary uses a blue pen for her notes. Entonces, prácticamente ustedes están aprendiendo a identificar dos parts of speech. Luego tenemos el resto que son adverbs, adverbios, conjunctions, conjunciones, pronouns, pronombres, verb, verbos, prepositions, preposiciones, and interjections. Aunque en español no se llaman prepositions, eh, se enseñan de una forma diferente en español, no recuerdo cómo es que se dice, pero solo he tenido la oportunidad de dar, la oportunidad de dar clases de español una vez. Eh, no es fácil, por cierto, dar clases de español. Especialmente, pues, estaba trabajando con una chica que era de... Ay, ¿de dónde era ella? Era una parte que había sido de Rusia. Y el esposo era eh, de padres, creo yo, árabes, nacido en Alemania. O sea, era un solo rollo con los idiomas, la chica. Entonces, enseñar español no es fácil. Y ahí aprendí que no se dicen prepositions. Ya le voy a decir cómo se dicen en español. Entonces, eh, it's important that you recognize that. Es importante reconocerlas. ¿Ok? Entonces, acá tenemos diferentes parts of speech, ¿verdad? Vaya, ahora vamos a ver la otra parte del video. Give me one moment. Y voy a borrar todos mis dibujitos. Ahí está. Thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case, A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. 
at the beginning of our sentence we will use the, an article a then we will have the profession fire fighter after that we add the verb has next the article <clears throat> a then we will add the adjective and finally we need to add the noun which in this case is job now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs and then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far let me read them for you boring easy dangerous exciting difficult stressful so using the adjectives that I just gave you I would like for you to describe different jobs and I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun for example a lawyer's job is stressful a lawyer has a stressful job after you finish this activity please share your work in our discussion forums okay we're going to try to follow the examples okay we're going to uh, just build a couple of sentences Different okay ways. let me see i'm going to close here There we go. So we have different adjectives. We have boring, easy, dangerous, let me see, exciting, difficult, right? Difficult and stressful. Okay. So these are the adjectives that we have. Number one, it's already done. Well, number one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six is already done, right? A lawyer's job is stressful okay a lawyer has a stressful job right okay what about boring what profession do you think is boring Una que consideran así como boring. ¿Y qué es boring, perdón? Boring. What is the meaning of boring? Es aburrido. Aburrido. Muy bien. Algo, ¿verdad? Cuando algo es aburrido. Mm -hmm. Boring. Muy bien. Okay. So, a boring job. A clerk. A clerk, okay. A clerk, right? A cler clerk es como dependiente, ¿verdad? Puede ser uh, front desk clerk, como un recepcionista front desk clerk, o solo clerk es un dependiente, o la persona que le ayuda en una tienda, ¿verdad? A clerk, or a clerk's job, is boring, okay? ¿Cómo sería la siguiente oración? A clerk, a clerk has a boring, boring job. Muy bien, muy bien, chicos. A clerk has a boring job, okay? What about dangerous? Algo que ustedes consideran como muy así como peligroso, dangerous. Police officer. Muy bien, okay? Entonces, a police... Okay, a police officer's job, right, is very dangerous, right? It's very dangerous, okay? What about the next sentence? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la siguiente? A police officer. A police officer. A police officer. A police officer has, 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 has very, dan uh, mm -hmm. very dangerous job. 
a very dangerous job, dangerous, right? Dangerous job. Okay, so a police officer job is very dangerous or is dangerous. Que, si quieren, dejémoslo así para no modificar la fórmula que les presó, presto el, que les presentó, perdón, el, el instructor. A police officer's job is dangerous. A police officer has a dangerous job, okay? Uh, a job that is easy. Uno que sea fácil, easy. Bueno, que consideremos que sea fácil porque no creo que todo sea sencillo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Perfectionist. Okay. Bueno, la verdad es que sí, yo siento que es un poco, un poco pesado el de receptionist, pero podemos decir a receptionist, a receptionist job, job is very easy, right? Muy bien. La otra oración nos quedaría. A receptionist. A receptionist. A Ah, very easy, ah, easy. An easy job, right? Easy job. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Algo que consideren exciting. Mm -hmm. Un trabajo que sea así bien. Eh, Pilot. ¿Mm? Pilot. A pilot, vaya, me parece. Entonces, veamos acá. So, a pilot's job is very exciting. Bye. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la siguiente? A pilot, a pilot, a pilot has, 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 has a very, very Yo Siempre exciting. le pongo very, I'm sorry. Has an exciting. 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 An exciting, muy bien. An exciting job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a pilot has an exciting job. Muy bien. Y difficult. Engineer. Okay, muy bien. Solo voy a subir acá estos elementos para que nos den acá el espacio que necesitamos. Bye. That's correct, actually, I think, and also this, the studies, right? Los estudios por los que pasan son también este bien pesados, ¿verdad? So let's go ahead and see, right? That would be an engineer's job, right? An engineer's job is difficult, right? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la otra oración? An engineer has difficult a job. Difficult job. job. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Entonces, take a look in here. Vean acá. Ustedes pueden ver que tienen los elementos que les mencionaba el instructor. ¿Verdad? Yo puedo usar el verbo to be para expresar los, los adjetivos. O puedo usar el orden de adjetivo y nombre o sustantivo para poder expresar las características. Dígame, Marcia. Teacher, ahí donde puso, uh, bueno, creo que quizás porque ha puesto, an engineer has a difficult uh, job. Eh, mm -hmm. Aquí no, va, no iría an, has an. O... Mm. No, porque empieza con un sonido de consonante. Aquí lo usamos and porque comienza con un sonido de vocal. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Acá sí, mire, sí lo usamos porque comienza con un sonido de vocal, ¿verdad? An exciting job. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, voy a compartirles eso también para que les quede ahí. Y voy a pasar lista, chicos, y con esto finalizo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. No voy. Tenemos acá los que no me contestaron, ¿verdad? Andrea, Marcela, Olmedo Fuentes. Present teacher. Gracias. Ashley, Maribel, Manzano Reyes. Present teacher. Gracias. Christopher David Reyes Mármol. Christopher David. No vino. 
eh, Francisco Armando García Florentino. Presente, Gracias. Isaac Abdonay Tobar. I'm Isaac. here, teacher. Thank you. Bueno, te ahí solamente. Y Melanie Fabiola Cuellar, que no, no viene tampoco. Vaya, chicos. Eh, de ahí, si no lo he no mencionado su nombre, es porque ya me contestó. ¿Alguien que no haya escuchado que yo le llamara? ¿No? Bye. Ah, pues chicos, aquí me quedo. Thank you very much for joining. And I'll see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night. 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 See you next night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.